All right, if you're watching this, you're probably like me and you ordered a SanDisk uh, professional, uh, like either a two terabyte, four terabyte, or one terabyte, and it's not responding, or either a Type C um, USB drive. It could be a USB Gen 2 or 3.2 or, or something like that. It's not auto detecting on your computer. Um, now, that's what happened to me. I ordered this SanDisk professional four terabyte drive, right? And that shows right here. I ordered the date of right here last purchase right here was the uh, July 26th and uh, so I got this and I paid like five close to $500 for the drive I, it's a four terabyte right so when I plugged it in it would not auto detect on Windows 10 uh, I tried multiple computers still would not do that so I found out a resolution I wanted to share with you because again this is important to share this information um, and I'll show you exactly what I did so if I open up File Explorer um, the problem was it would not find this drive. Now I've named my drive since then uh, SanDisk uh, VMs because I was putting all my VMs on it. And you can see that I have all my VMs, I have everything I have, uh, my recordings and stuff like that that I've done for training and stuff that I've done. Uh, now when it comes down to it, I could not actually uh, see that. It wouldn't auto, auto detect, right? So now if I unplug it and plug it in, right? So if I unplug it, now if I open up File Explorer, it shows it's not there. Now, when I plug it back in, it will show an auto detect, right? So it is showing that it is fixed now. Now how did I do that? I'm gonna show you real quick. So first you're gonna go into, um, right click on your start menu of, for Windows, and you're gonna go to disk management. Now in disk management, it's gonna open, and just because your computer didn't find it in File Explorer does not mean your computer did not find it. Uh, that it just means that maybe there's something that needs to be done. Okay, now I'm going to actually show you this. So uh, what I did, and all of mine are currently working, but in the efforts of what I was showing, uh, that what happened to me, and I researched this and researched this online, and I, the only thing I found was something that you right click and you would basically change the letter, right? Um, in this case, that resolved their issue. But my case, when I when I right clicked, I did not have any of these options. Okay. The only option I had was delete volume, um, or you know I think it was delete volume and something else. I didn't really have any option to do anything, right? So what happened is I needed to actually come in here and delete the volume. Now, if you're like me, you're probably wondering deleting the volume on something brand new is probably not going to you know you're kind of reluctant to do that. But what's going to happen is is the volume's still going to be there right if you delete the volume now i'm not going to delete my volume because again i do have this loaded with about close to four gigs worth of or four terabytes worth of information um, now with that said all you have to do if it's blank and you just got it and you don't have anything on it because this will this if you delete the volume whatever's on it's going to be deleted okay but if it's brand new just like my case it was brand new and it would not auto detect you delete the volume Right, when you delete the volume, what it does is it comes in as, as just like I'm showing right here, it says unallocated. All right, so in unallocated, what you're gonna do is all of this will change color from blue to that black color. It will say unallocated. Now in the efforts of that, all you have to do, and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna do this on this uh, uh, disc up here. One thing I want you to, to notice too, is I'm gonna unplug this and plug this in. Make sure you're on the correct drive, okay? And how I did that is I unplugged it, and I plugged it in and let it let my computer find it okay that's how I verified I was on the correct drive so before you do anything that way you don't mess up your computer or mess up anything else because you see I have multiple things plugged into my computer right now make sure you unplug it just like I just showed unplug it plug it back in and make sure you're dealing with the right drive okay so there's a couple precautions right there and then you make sure if it's again blank and, and you just got it you want to delete the volume okay and now if it's something that already had data on it you just change the letter and that should work for you as well now in the efforts of showing you how to do this process I'm going to show you on this unallocated process up here uh, now all you're going to do it's going to once you delete the volume it's going to look like this black and it's going to say unallocated and I have your volume of however much your, your disk is you come over here and you click uh, new simple volume you're going to use the wizard that comes with it. You're going to click next. You're going to come over here. It's going to tell you the volume size that you have. You're going to come up here, click next, assign it a letter, whatever the letter you deem it to be. It's perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to leave this as H 
and then make sure this is really really important okay make sure you leave the file system right here ntfs do not change it to fat 30 or fat or fat 32 change it make sure it's as default as ntfs okay and default the allocation uh, as far as the size and then this is where you give it a name so this is where I named mine sandisk dash vms right so in efforts I would call this sand disk and then I just basically put vms because I was going to put a bunch of vms on it all right <clears throat> so with that said uh, you come in here click next and at that point you would finish okay now it's real critical that all that gets done now I'm not going to allocate this because again that's not what I'm doing here I'm just giving you an example of what I did so in that example just make sure you for one double check that you make sure you have the right disk on it like I did I plug it in unplug it make sure you use disk management make sure everything's good now once you do this task it should in file explorer open up file explorer again you should see it populate all right so as soon as you do that it should populate uh, and it should work on every computer ever since then right so from now on it will work on any windows computer now um, these type c's type c ss uh type c ssds that i have um, they will not work on windows 7 they work on windows 10 and above so again when it comes down to it if you're having this issue um you can simply do what i just did again um if you're just and if you're like me you do not want to delete volume i didn't want to do it at first either but this was the only recourse that i could do to actually resolve the issue and when i did that it worked so I deleted the volume, it came in as unallocated, I allocated the, vo the volume to the disk drive, just like I showed you, and everything worked perfectly. Okay, from that point on, um, now again, you could try changing the letter or something like that of the path if you have that option. I did not have that option. All these options I have right here, I did not have. All I had was delete and properties. And that was that basically all I had, I believe, at that time. So that's what I did to resolve the issue. Hopefully this was helpful, and we'll see you guys on the next one.